Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm just doing a quick video on my run home. This is uh, an electricity pole for the street that was damaged in December. It's now the end of June 2021. So December 2020 to June 2021. Please excuse any cars um, going past in the meantime. I am on a rather busy road, so it might get a bit noisy at times. Anyway, this pole, um, which was snapped off by another car hitting it, and then the pole was left split like that, hanging from the overhead feed, as you can see here. Then another car, strangely enough, hit a pole before this one, and the impact made this pole shake loose, which then landed up on this resident's fence. Never mind, we tried to get this resolved for how long? Anyway, what they have now done here, they came to replace the pole, they dug the hole here and they hit a 6,000 volt medium volt cable underneath. So that was abandoned. In the meantime, there's the original house cable. It's a three phase supply armored cable. So the earth around the outside with the neutral and three lives inside. They've put a temporary feed from there with two phases to the meter box here, right? Now the meter box, you can see here, the meter has actually been bypassed. It is no longer running. There should be, in the top right corner, it should show three arrows with L1, L2, L3, showing that there's actually power there, right? So that's been bypassed. Then they have also bridged two of the phases here. So there's not three phase power, there's only two phases running three phases here. Now the next, the biggest issue I have here is you can see there's an earth, okay, from the armorings going to the house and to the street. Those are still connected to each other, but they're not connected back to the substation. This is a TNCS system, so there is no earth rod. There may be, if it is a multiple earth neutral system, I can't actually see any um, earth rod installed anywhere. It's on a concrete plinth, so there's no connection to the ground there. There is no connection from the neutral to that earth anywhere. It's straight to the street and straight to the house feed. So this property is now no longer on the meter and it is not earthed either. Now recently in our city of Johannesburg, this is a um, city power that does our power supply. And recently there was a newspaper article where a couple was electrocuted in their shower in Crosby. And this is, they, City Power, then claimed that the reason for this is not their fault, where I was assuming it's a missing neutral or a broken neutral up on the feed. They said no, the meter has been bridged or bypassed and the earth has been disconnected. They also claimed the earth leakage switch wasn't working. So, whether that's true or not, they said that the owner of the house had done that. But right here is evidence that this is what they've done. This is their contractors that have installed this temporary feed. And this temporary feed has now already been here for about a month. So this house, well, it's actually running two properties. They are not earthed properly onto the grid at all. So this is also another hazard for someone to be electrocuted along the way because a TNCS system requires that the neutral, I'm assuming here the, the, the TNC part, the, con the combined part was up on the pole and then the separate earth was from up on the pole box down via the armory. Now the difference in my house is that the earth and the neutral are combined in the meter box back with the armory and then you know to that at that point with the meter and then separated from there to the house from the meter only. Now if that had been done here and the neutral was still joined to the earth there would be no problem but because this is separate from the armoring there is no path easily back for the earth. Please leave your comments and see what you think tell me what you think because 
I really don't think this is acceptable and you know this is out on the street this is exposed wiring as well so I think that city power should be liable for this this is dangerous and this should really be exposed on national media because this is the kind of workmanship they do give anyway let me know what you think and I'll be posting more videos of all different topics soon cheers bye